and I hope I get this pronunciation right in the first, Alfatic, um, definitely not a bad debut at all. No, but it was a year ago, Andrew, and he had a, a knee chip after that, so, um, you know, he's got a lot to do to get back to his peak, but uh, he's a capable stay in his day. So you obviously wouldn't be sending him to the track if he wasn't fit and ready to take the run? He's as fit as I can have him right now, yeah. Um, if Fico goes for a four-timer, there is strong opposition, but she looks like she's got plenty of promise in the tank. Yeah, um, there's obviously a weight swing, quite a substantial weight swing with um, Big Eyed Girl. Uh, it's Colts as well now, although there's four fillies and four Colts. I think she likes the course. I think she likes the ground on top. Um, she's been very progressive in that she's run through the, through the, the ratings. Um, It'll be a good test of whether we found her ceiling yet or if there's still more to come. She's a really good space fit well, so um, I, I'm quite keen to see how she goes. Then you're not going to get much more exposure than you're going to get from the owners of Ready to Fly in terms of their enthusiasm for the game. And obviously uh, this horse has shown significant promise in KwaZulu-Natal. Yeah, she may be slightly disappointing. I thought there was a bit more there, but you know, you never know until you run. And she's never been over a right trip yet. Never travelled in races, so we try and blinkers. But um, this is a very tough race. Top four finish here is a good is a good finish. Right in the fifth, you've got Areva Desio, um, and there's uh, th this is very very talented. He's got a chance uh, if he stays. He should stay on paper definitely. By uh, Flower Alley, uh, given the female line as well, Mova Lela. Um, he's a nice horse. Uh, again, you know ratings if they to be believed. Uh, he's got a lot to do, but. I think he's, uh, he's, he's, he's a capable loss in his day, for sure. Excellent. Then uh, Fire Lord might be one of your best runners on the day? Could be. He comes out in a towel fairly fit. If he stays the 1800, the way he hit the line in the mile last time, he should do. Um, you know, he's, he's a four-year-old. He's well exposed. I mean, that's the kind of race where you've got to put a bunch in, I think. Right, uh, Ultra Magnus, we know that he's always been very highly rated. He's not getting any younger, but he's a great-looking horse. And even though his runs over here have not been that inspiring yet, I think that there's, there's definitely more to come from him. Yeah, he's, his form in the last few months has sort of tapered. He's got his issues. Um, Peter left him up here, you know, because of one or two of the issues that we felt he'd be better off, you know, at altitude. He's got very good heart rates. Um, heart rates of a horse at once ground. He may have just been limited due to the, the issues he's had, but we're going to see what he does over, over ground on Saturday. And um, Brian's been very patient with him, and I hope his patience is rewarded. But uh, he's a capable horse with, with, with as I say, um, very good heart rates, but um, we've not seen the best of him for a while. So is there any possibility that we might sneak in to the Steel Road, Allied Steel Road Charity Mile? Well, he's got to be all over them Saturday, you know, otherwise he won't even to contemplate a, a nomination. 100%. Um, Clifuti, we know her abilities there. She's come off a little bit of a break and a well-earned one. How's she come back, Mike? Yeah, she's come back very well. Both her and Mike's chick, I don't think, are at their best yet at their peak. Um, certainly, being a small field, one has to include them, but the fit fillies may just have an edge over them. But they're two very capable fillies.